So recently I had watched a scary movie, and of course during this movie I was frustrated because during the movie one of the main characters was being somewhat dumb. Of course it's a lot easier for me to say that being just a viewer in a calm, stable environment, but it got me thinking. What if I was in one of these scary scenarios? How would I perform? So with that said, I thought of some situations, and to my surprise, I, I think I'm pretty much covered. The first scary cliche I put myself in was the typical Jason Voorhees coming up to my house to fuck me up. Jason sneaks into my house. He ends up getting into my living room and finally sees me, and I'm just like, what's Gucci, nigga? Come on now, let's get this shit over with. As I start drawing a red X on my heart, you doing me a favor, homeboy. I can't afford my asthma medication. I'm still paying off my car. Shit, nigga, I still got motherfucking student loans. This nigga ain't afraid of dying. You doing me a solid. Jason just looked real confused. Come on now, hurry the fuck up. Oh, and by the way, when the student loan department comes calling for me and they can't get a hold of me because I'm dead, I just want you to know that I gave them your phone number and to come to you for the money that I owe. Jason puts his knife down. Hold the fuck up. How'd you give them my number? Nigga, you ain't slick. I saw you pull up in your car down the street. Nigga, I got dogs. They bark when they hear shit, you dummy. People think you teleport, but I know the truth. I saw you step out that ugly-ass minivan, put your phone in the front seat, and as you were taking your sweet-ass time, walking real slow, making your stupid noises, ch -ch -ch, uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. towards the front door, I ran out the back door, broke into your car, checked your phone, and ran back, you iPhone-ass nigga. So when the collection agency hits you up, just keep it 100. Jason, take off his mask. N nigga, the collection agency f for real? Y yeah, I I've been dodging them niggas for years now. What what do you owe them? I I got some student loans too. Damn, for real? Y yeah, man. Do I don't fuck with the Sally Mae. Shit, man. F shit, fuck all this killing shit. Cause for real, uh, they don't they don't have this number. And like, I'm I'm trying to keep it that way. Uh, uh okay. Yeah, you shit, nigga. Yeah, you know, you in debt. I'm in debt. Shit, we debt boys. We gotta stay together. All right, cool. So, so like, what'd you study in college? You, you really want to know? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, huh. all right, don't laugh. <laughs> Anthropology. <laughs> oh, shit, for real? <laughs> yeah, you know, that shit was interesting. <laughs> you want to get some food to solidify that we cool? Because I'm hungry. Uh, it's it's kind of late. Well, we could get, like, Waffle House or something. I, I, don't, I don't really like Waffle House. Uh, what what about IHOP? Shit, bro, IHOP cool too, cause they got some good ass French toast. Hell yeah, I love French toast. Let's go. The second scenario was Freddy Krueger. You know, old boy that comes in your dreams and kills you. Yeah. So the situation plays out as I'm sleeping. Of course, Freddy Krueger jumps in my dreams. I'm here to fuck you up. Then Freddy looks around as he's in my dream. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? Oh God! What? What the, is this drawn porn? What the fuck? Are those are those tentacles? There's so many tentacles! Oh, what the f what in the what? This shit's not real. Uh, what is that? Overwatch porn in the background? What the? I didn't even know that shit existed. Oh God! Shit! I came here to kill you, but I see you're already dead on the inside. Fuck! I'm I'm getting the fuck out of here. Freddy just jumps out my dreams, and I never see him again. And then the last scary cliche I put myself in was your typical demon possession. Now when it comes to possession, usually you got two kinds. The first kind is that shit where the demon possesses a nigga and they become as strong as the Hulk and got telekinesis. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say if we're talking about that kind of possession, I'm dead. But then there's that second kind, and that's the one I thought about. This is the one that they make movies about. Usually it's a female that gets possessed, and the demon just does scary shit to fuck with the person it's possessing and the niggas around her. Then eventually the demon ruins the health of the person it's controlling, and when people try to save the victim, the demon uses the victim as a hostage because the victim is still alive and the saviors don't want to hurt the victim. I wish a demon would possess my girlfriend. She'd turn around, What's up, nigga, bitch? And I would not wait a damn second and punch her in her fucking forehead. Nigga, I don't care what you are on this planet. A goat, a tiger, a raptor, nigga, I don't care. You get punched in your forehead, you're gonna reconsider the actions that led you to getting punched in the forehead. That shit hurt. Go ahead, ball your fist up, and just pat that shit in the middle of your forehead. That shit would hurt, wouldn't it? My demon-possessed girlfriend would be like, Rah! I would do that shit until she passed out. Once she passes out, I'm gonna tie her up and bring her to the garage and wait for that demon to wake up. Ugh, shit, ah, my forehead. Then I go ahead, turn my camera on, cause I'm about to upload this shit to Worldstar and turn on my theme music. Oh, oh 
up, god damn it, what the fuck? What, what, why am I tied up? Uh, oh no, what is, what is this music? Oh no, I know what this song is. No, fuck, somebody help me. No, 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 for, for real. I, I will get out the body. I swear, I promise. I dispossession think it was a mistake. Hey, no, 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 please. Please, no, no, no. Ah! Oh, fuck, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Eventually the demon just leaves my girlfriend and goes back to hell, quits his job. God damn it, Satan! You didn't fucking tell me you punch niggas in the forehead! You know what I went through? No, 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 don't say nothing, nigga! Fuck you, alright? I'm fucking done! I'll quit, I'll quit this job! I'm done, alright? Fuck you, play whoop that trick and punch me in my goddamn forehead! Fuck you, man! My girlfriend wakes up, big ass knot on her forehead. Yeah, my head hurts. What happened? Uh, you got possessed and I had to fuck you up. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I think for the most part, when it comes to scary scenarios, I'm Gucci, baby. <laughs>